And our 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena continues our team coverage. And she spoke to a law professor about the many ways that this could play out. Lindsay? Yeah, Kim and Steve, that law professor says this is both an important and very rare process. He explained more about what impeachment is and what would have to happen for Trump to actually be removed from office. The actions taken to date. By the impeachment is so rare, it's only played out with two presidents in American history. Andrew Johnson and President Clinton. Glenn Smith is a professor of constitutional law at California Western School of Law. He says impeachment is basically the House equivalent of indicting a president or federal official. They can be removed for treason, bribery, or high crimes and misdemeanors. That's where the certainty ends. There's a whole spectrum of arguments about what is a high crime or misdemeanor, what is an impeachable offense. Smith says the impeachment process is much more political than legal. In other words, someone can be impeached for behavior that's considered an abuse of power, but not always a crime. Are some allegations that what we have here is an example of bribery, which is the president promising one thing or threatening to withhold something if he doesn't get something in exchange. If a majority of House members vote to impeach, the Senate then holds a trial. Smith says the procedure was designed to protect the integrity of the country and act as part of the checks and balances. But if? If the House does what it thinks is that and then the Senate completely blows them off, that will actually, uh, I think, have shown that the process of um, checks and balances is, is toothless. Now, as for how long this whole process could take, that's unclear. But based on past inquiries and proceedings, at least several months. Lindsay Pena, 10 News. Thank you, Lindsay.